Hi guys, it's The Everyday Vegan here, um, and today I'm bringing you another cooking feature. I've done a lot of other stuff recently, but I uh, thought I'd return to the roots and I'll show you a, a UK and world first, because I've never tried this recipe before. Um, it's sort of a combination of a few things that I've seen before, that I've done uh, when I was little, or when my mum did when I was little. Um, and I'm going to try and put a, put a bit of a vegan spin on there, so let me show you the ingredients. So today we're going to make stuffed peppers. So we've got organic peppers there, and we've got some garlic which I'm going to use to uh, make the mix of the uh, Grenos meat-free Lincolnshire sausage mix a little bit more interesting. We're also going to put some mushrooms in that mix uh, for the stuffed peppers. We're going to have um, boiled or steamed broccoli with that and homemade potato wedges which is great. So if we look at my little brilliant little table over here there's quite a lot of stuff that we're going to cover today especially sort of broccoli. So vitamin C is going to be in there and iron and calcium and all that sort of really brilliant stuff. If you guys saw my little short feature that I've done on this poster it's really really good I'll put the link in there again and um, but if you sort of look at your day-to-day -day food intake from breakfast through lunch and dinner try and um, you know sort of tick off quite a few we've got mushrooms in there as well that we're gonna do today and we're gonna use some some olive oil to make it all so that should be fairly good meal tonight so the first thing that we're gonna make whilst we're waiting because it needs 10 minutes to get there is the Reynolds uh, Lincolnshire sausage mix which is quite good so we need to get 125 milliliters of cold water I've made the mistake the other day of using hot water which is a grave mistake because it doesn't make it stick so it doesn't stick together which of course we don't want and um, so all you need to do is they, they come in these little sachets I'm sure those of you who've seen my videos in the past know this they come in these little sachets about one pound forty or so I think I buy them at Morrison's at the moment so they're about one pound fifty or so for two of these bags and uh, that one bag should make enough for our uh, sausage mix for our um, stuffed peppers today is of course completely vegan it's mainly made up from wheat and, and soya which is quite cool so I'm just gonna measure up um, 125 mil of this and um, yeah, then we should get it into a bowl and, and we go from there because that needs 10 minutes to rest before we can use it. And be, when it comes to rest, we're going to put in the mushrooms and the, uh, the garlic just to spice it up a little bit. All I want to do now, before I actually mix the mixture together so it, it uh, all goes together nicely, I'm going to cut up the garlic and I'm going to cut up uh, some of the mushrooms as well to mix in into the sort of moist mixture before it actually sets. So we can then just scoop it into the and peppers to, to put that in the oven later on. guys it's me so I'm gonna make the granola stuff now with the garlic I've decided not to put the mushrooms in there because um, it's gonna to be too much mass in the little bowl and um, so you'll just watch me do that this is a nice little neat uh, package that you just sort of chuck in there um, and then I've got the, the cut garlic which can go in as such that's it and then as I said earlier, 120 ml water, just nicely all over it. Make sure it's cold water, don't make the mistake that I made. Um, and then just mix that under nicely. And you just let that rest for about 10 minutes and that gives me enough time to prepare the peppers and to prepare the uh, potato wedges as well, which I'll, um, I'll show you now. So you cut in the top like this. Um, to make sure you get the stalk out there in one go. And you do that before you cut it in half because otherwise you'll just cut through all these little um, seeds and everything. Come on, get out. See, you can just take it out as one bit. Now what I usually do, is I just do that to get all the little seeds out of it. Um, like that. And then you cut it through with a bigger knife. Make it nice and half. Then and then you literally just clean them out throughout the middle. Make sure that all the seeds go out because you don't really want that. Um, and make sure they can sort of sit on the side as well like that, which is quite nice. But they don't want to tip over in the oven really. Um, that's number one done. There we are. And number two we'll just do exactly the same way. I'll just put those to the side 
at the moment because I'm going to do the potato wedges now as well. As I'm only cooking for one, I'm not really making that many potato wedges, but if you cook for two, just uh, adjust the amount as accordingly. I just use um, some potatoes that are quite a decent size as well. You don't have to um, really be too picky, but I like when they're sort of elongated and quite nicely round so you can make four out of out of one potato. I'm just gonna wash them quickly and um, because I'm gonna leave the skin on because I really like that I'm just gonna wash them under the tap a little bit choose a few and then I'll show you how I cut them up. Mm -hmm. If you can see that I've just uh, washed them up a little bit and all you really want to do is you cut them through and you cut them through again and then you've got nice big wedges there which I quite like because um, they're gonna be in the oven for quite some time so they don't have to be too small to make that work um, and all you really want to do and that's that's what I'll show you in a little bit um, in terms of seasoning um, I usually just use a little bit, little bit of olive oil um, and then I'll show you some some spices that you can put over that as well um, which shouldn't make it too difficult and then it should cater for every every person's taste really but let me show you once I put them in the pan so I'm basically just using oregano and I'm using trusted old salt and pepper uh, some olive oil, of course, and then just to spice it up, I've got some uh, old El Paso fajita mix, which is really spicy, really tomatoey, which I'm just going to try out, see what happens. And I'm going to give that a little sprinkle as well, but let me show you. So I'll put the uh, potato wedges in there. Um, don't have to be too, too precise with that, you just chuck them in. Make sure they're sort of separated from one another, I guess that, that is certainly important like so um, of course I need to leave room for my trusted uh, peppers as well so we'll try and fit that all on now don't have a very big oven so we're gonna have to make do um, and what we want to do with the potato wedges we just want to sprinkle a little bit of oil over it um, you can be quite generous because it can't harm the um, the peppers either Put that over there. We're going to give them a stir every so often anyway, which isn't a bad thing. There we are. And then uh, be quite experimental. There's nothing, there's no set rule for this. Just a little bit of salt over this as such, and a little bit of pepper. I love black pepper, of course, um, and I love it from a pepper mill as well because it's got that little bit of fresher taste, of course. Uh, a little bit of oregano, so it's more like herb potatoes as well like so and as I said I'm gonna experiment with this I'll let you know whether or not it's nice at the end and um, just a few of these sort of spices over there this is quite strong stuff so I'm not gonna go overboard um, but that should do it nicely it certainly already smells quite nicely and I'm just gonna chuck that into my oven now which has been preheated um, and I'll let you go how, know how that goes. It should be about 25 minutes for now until you then need to put the mixture into the uh, stuffed peppers. But we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. In the meantime, I can prepare my trusted broccoli. Very, very good. Lots of good stuff in broccoli. I dare say it's almost a superfood. Uh, lots of iron and calcium in there, which I love. Also spinach, good one. I'm um, just going to cut that into smaller pieces, really, and uh, boil it. It's no, no big deal, really, with a little bit of salt. <laughs> I hope I don't look too ghostly. I just wanted to get you a quick update. I needed a flash on. So um, this is uh, what they look like in the oven at the moment. There's a great little sizzling sound going on uh, from the oil there. You can possibly see it at the bottom right corner there. Um, the capsicums or peppers or whatever you may want to call them um, look fantastic as well. And it's about 10 or 15 minutes in, I think no, 12 minutes or so in. Um, and it definitely smells great in my kitchen already. Uh, so I'm looking forward to my dinner tonight. In the meantime, I can uh, pay more attention to this stuff. So this is actually quite thick, um, which isn't a bad thing as such. Uh, you could probably, for this recipe, use a little bit more water because it doesn't have to be quite this thick because um, we're going to put it into the, into the stuffed peppers. Um, but what I'm going to do, I also thought about uh, flash frying the mushrooms a little bit. So if anybody tries that in their recipe, please let me know how that uh, worked. I'm just going to use them raw. <laughs> I might have made a few too many mushrooms, but we shall see. Um, and I'm just going to sort of prepare that for the peppers when they come out of the oven. And I just really want to um, sort of mix this up into a homogenous uh, 
paste to put into the stuffed peppers. But I quite like mushrooms, so I, I'm quite happy that I made a few too many there. If anybody tries this and any variations of this, uh, please, please let me know in the comments. It would be great to see what other ideas you guys come up with. So I've taken the, uh, the peppers out of the oven. Uh, as such, you can see them steaming. Yeah, and I will fill them with the, uh, with the little filling that I made. The stuffing, I guess. Um, whilst the potato wedges are still in the oven, uh, continuing to cook. So it was about 20 minutes that I did, and you will see in a minute that they're actually quite nicely cooked through. Um, and you're supposed to give them another 15 minutes once the stuffing is in there. We'll see how that goes. So you can see they are quite nice. Mm, yeah. And all I'm going to do now is, I might actually use a spoon for that rather than a fork, um, is scoop this sort of stuff into them now. <laughs> it might be quite messy, but there we are. Stuff it right into the bottom of them. There we are. That one worked okay. Um, and some more. As you can see, I'm quite happy with this. Um, just put little mounds on that, which is all right. Um, and I'm just gonna put that back in the oven now, but I'll show you what the potato wedges look like um, in a moment. Let me just show you this. Mm, it's very nice. And let me show you what it looks like in the uh, in the little oven dish. Hi, it's me. I'm just gonna get the, um, the potato wedges out of the oven, which are sizzling nicely. They're turning, taking on a nice brown color as well, as you can see here. Oh, wow. Oh. Very high, or very hot. And I'm just going to give them a stir before I put the peppers on there again. I'm just going to move them over to the other side as well. And there we are. Just going to turn them over again. Ouch! They are very hot, of course, because they come out of an oven. Duh. Uh, and then, mm, nice. I'm going to just put those peppers back on here. <laughs> ah, can you hear that sizzle? Nice. Uh, just put them back on there. Oh, that was hot. And there we are. And that dish will now go back in the oven for another 10-15 minutes, which gives me enough time to steam the broccoli. Um, and as broccoli doesn't actually need very long to cook properly, I always put them in upside down as well. They will turn around, of course. Why not? Um, doesn't need very long to cook, so a couple of minutes or three minutes or so. Because, um, I mean, you can eat broccoli raw and the vitamins that are in there are actually water soluble, so the, the, the less you cook it, the better actually. Um, I'll see you, I'll, I'll show you once it's all done. We can also have another look at these. Mmm, they're very nice. Um, it's starting to turn brown on the uh, stuffing there, which is exactly what we want. It should only be about 10 more minutes and we uh, can enjoy this nice dinner. The time has actually come, it should all be done. I've uh, prepared the broccoli on the plate already and I'm just going to get this stuff out of the oven now and I'll show you. And let me get that out of the oven. Ooh, looks very good. And there we are. Ow, that's quite hot. Um, and that's nice. So we've got the potato wedges there, which are beautiful. And that's taken on a nice brown color. And it should be cooked through. And so should the peppers. And I'll just show you once I've all arranged. And there we are, it. guys. And um, let me show you the final uh, product. Whoa, there we are. Mm, very nice. So we've got the potato wedges here. And we've got the stuffed peppers. So that was it from the Everyday Vegan for today. Uh, thanks very much for tuning in. Please, please, please subscribe if you can and follow me on Twitter, underscore Everyday Vegan, and make suggestions, share your recipes. If you try this one out, please let me know how it went, if you have any suggestion how to make it better and everything. Um, but until then, I'm going to say good night to you guys. Uh, be kind, be vegan, and I'll see you next time.